How you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, it is another Friday. These Fridays keep rolling around. We are, we're hoping to be done with this whole thing by now, but it looks like we're gonna go through April at least. So we're back with the Friday workout. We have uh, strength for you, four sets, two exercises. First one is pistols. All right, and with pistols, what you're going to do is spin in a circle. All right, and then you're going to grab a chair. And pistol is a one-legged squat. So what you're gonna do is take one leg out in front of you, sit back down onto a chair or a bench or whatever you have around your house and then settle back in and then drive off that front foot and then come back up and then down. I'm gonna slide over here real quick so you can see that movement down. So you can do five with one side and then switch and do five with the other. Yeah, the modification is leaving that front foot on the ground so it can give you a little bit more assistance and just kind of push back and then drive up off that off both those heels if you need to and that kind of helps you out there all right so sometimes we modify that with rings at the gym but we don't necessarily have that so do your best with that so it's a set of pistols followed by a set of hand release push-ups and with these we're doing six of them so hand release you're in that solid push-up position you're going all the way down on the ground to your stomach and thighs touch lift the hands up and then push from there all the way up the important thing with the hand release push-ups is that that body is in a plank position and that your thighs and chest come up at the same time. Otherwise, you end up doing this little worm thing. Can you show me the worm thing, Dawn, on the way up? Where you just kind of work up like that, and you're not really getting the work in that we want there. Okay, so that's the hand release push-ups, and you can do hand release push-ups modified as well with the knees on the ground, lift the hands up, and push up again. Again, now that one, we want the belly button and the chest to come up at the same time. Boom, good work. All right, so four sets of each of those. You can do a set of pistols, five and five, followed by a set of six hand release push-ups for your strength. Okay, then we'll move on to the, the conditioning, which is a 15 minute AMRAP. AMRAP again is as many rounds as possible. Set the clock for 15 minutes. And it's gonna start off with a, um, a shuffle, shuffle burpee. Okay, so we're gonna, and you're gonna do four rounds of that. Dawn is in love with burpees for these home uh, workouts. So we're gonna shuffle. Shuffle down, shuffle back, and you're doing your burpee. Boom, pop up, shuffle, that's one. Shuffle down, <clears throat> shuffle back, and you're doing a burpee, that's two. So you're gonna do four of those, okay? After you do, everything goes up by twos. The next one's gonna be six, and you have six plank marches. So in the plank march, you're in that good solid plank position, and you're marching with the feet. So the feet come up. Try to keep that foot nice and tight, keep the legs stiff on that, and you're just bringing that leg up on the ground and the, the upper body's nice and quiet, just like we always do. You can kind of squeeze that glute, squeeze that thigh, and then lift that leg up. Good, you're doing six of those. So it's just three each side, am I correct? Yeah. Okay, three each side for six. Then there's eight jump lunges. Ooh, now these jump lunges are tough, all right? So you're gonna get in that lunge position, you're gonna pop up and switch feet, boom. Pop up, switch feet, boom. Very high impact exercise. So if you are not comfortable with that jump lunge, the reverse lunge is what we're doing, okay? So you're just gonna step back, boom, and then back up, okay? Uh, so eight of those, four each leg, and then the final one is dips. You can do 10 dips. Again, we're going up by two, four of the shuffle shuffle burpee, six of the plank marches, eight jump lunges, and then 10 dips. Down and back, uh, working those triceps, working those shoulders. Again, keeping the butt as close to the chair or whatever apparatus you're using to dip on. Good, and yeah, legs straight for a little bit harder, make it more challenging, legs bent, make it a little more easy. A little more easier, a little easier, a little more better. I don't know, I'm getting my things wrong there. All right, and then that's the workout. So 15 minutes of those four exercises. Try to get as many rounds as you can. <clears throat> Excuse me, and then uh, we're gonna finish up with some core. Core is three rounds. We have 20 reps, so we're going high rep on this. Two different exercises. The first one is push-up position heel taps. So you're gonna get into that push-up position, nice solid tight plank, and you're gonna take opposite hand and reach across underneath your opposite leg and touch that heel. Touch, touch, touch. Good, and then the modification for that is kinda of like Spider-Man, where you're just gonna bring that knee up. So bring that knee kinda of up to the outside, good. Yeah, there we go. All right, so you'll do 20 of those, 10 each side. And then the next one is Russian twists. So we're gonna go 20 Russian twists. So you're in that solid sort of hollow position with the knees bent. And again, the, the uh, modification of that is feet on the ground. That gives you a little bit more stability. To make it a little bit harder, you raise those feet up in the air and you're just twisting. Each twist is one. You can go 10 each side, 
20 total. Okay, three rounds of those two exercises, and then it's the freaking weekend, baby. I'm ready to have me some fun. Peace.